Hey y'all, sorry about that. Was out of town for a week. Uh, didn't really expect to not be able to do a video for you. But here we are on the other side and I wanted to start a new series this week on uh, flow decision making and flow process. Like what's what, how to make good decisions, what are good decisions to make. I wanna do that as live gameplay so you're inside my head. I try to do this with the replays, but it's a little harder to be inside other people's heads. I thought it'd be easier to be in you know, my head actually talking out loud to you as I walk through everything that I'm doing in a match and every decision that I make in hopes that it might be helpful. And again, just said, shed some light on the way the game is played and what's important and what's not important. As an example, we're going to do this through a couple of periods with a couple of different types of aircraft. I'm starting with uh, period two, kind of mid-tier, multi-role. This one is freely available and has decent characteristics. 1,500 gold if you're willing to put some money in. If you don't have it already, um, it'll cost you about 675 to buy the gold for it and then purchase it in-game in the client. And so easy to do. I didn't want this to be an inaccessible plane, right? Um, so if you want to jump in and try out this process, you can. Uh, so it's a multi-role, so I'm just going to work you through as playing as a multi-role in mid-tiers, trying to win the match. What am I thinking? How am I thinking it? And uh, we're going to go from there. So we're going to hop into the first battle and go. I'm going to try and focus primarily on what I'm doing. I'm going to care less about what other people are doing, although that does impact you as you play, right? But the whole goal here is, is just to be inside the head. One of the best videos that helped me get good at tanks um, back in the day was a video by a guy named Zevin, who I admire, great YouTube channel. And uh, he did an hour-long video just on decision making on flow process like you play a match what do you do first what do you do second what do you do third what happens if this happens right how to train your brain to think in terms of the game itself and i'd really like to seek to emulate that here and uh, and be helpful with it so that's what we're going to do i'm going to start a match um, and uh, of course i'll cut this part out and we'll see you on the other side of it when we dip in i'm going to take you immediately to what it is that i begin to do as soon as a match starts and we'll hit the ground running. So I'll see you on the other side. Or if the battle button works, I will. And we are back. We have a great map for this uh, decision flow in the very beginning here. Mining plant, mining plant, command center, command center, five, right? This is the first thing I look at. And as a multi-role, my goal is going to be to work the edges, particularly these two and hopefully capture them. I might get help with a mining plant, we'll see. So the first thing I look at is, you know, how is this battle gonna play out sector-wise? Second thing I look at, my team, enemy's team. This is probably the most important thing. Maybe should be doing it first. Spitfire DB, Specialized, Spitfire 1, Specialized. They're gonna own the middle, right? They're gonna do great there. What are we up against? Messerschmitt 410, Heavy Fighter, Bow Fighter, Heavy Fighter, Venom, Great Turn Fighter again, but probably not good enough to keep up with those two spits. So we'll see how that plays out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start working on these command centers over here. Um, since I'm guessing those guys are gonna go there. Yep, looks like it so far. Where is the other dude? Oh, he's coming this way with me. All right, well, so be it. Um, we're gonna try and not duplicate processes. So um, I'm gonna head there after this. I'm already planning ahead, right? Uh, we want to take these zones ASAP and, uh, you know, hopefully, oh, God, our, our bombers are all headed here like everybody's headed here. It's a bad, bad idea. Let's see if we can get somebody to go that way. I don't know that the bots are going to respond to that, but we'll try. All right, we're going to clear our buddy's tail here. I know it's a bot. You're kind of like, who cares? I care. I want him alive. Unfortunately, trailing two is going to be hard. I don't want to lose the uh, capture points for the zone. Remember, it's a neutral zone, right? We don't want that. All right, I'm gonna have to lag roll out. All right, all done. Interestingly, the enemy Venom is here. I cannot outturn him, but I do have the Spitfire with me. We're gonna let the heavy dive on him and engage first. We're gonna be here with the Spitfire side by side. And we're going to steal the kill. All right. Looks like they're ahead of us in terms of the mining plants. That's not an exciting thing. There is the enemy bow fighter up there. Looks like he's gone outside the zone, so I'm not going to deal with him right now. I want capture points first and foremost. I'm going to be watching the mini map, though. 
because if he comes inside the zone, he's going to be particularly dangerous, and we want to make sure that we clear him out. Looks like he's coming back into the zone. Maybe too late, though, to do anything about stopping us. We'll see. Oh, looks like our Spitfire has engaged him. Lovely. Ooh, maybe not. See what happens here. Uh, unfortunately, that may cost us. Yeah, he died inside the zone. That's going to cost us 60 points. And uh, that's bad. There we go. All right, we've taken both of these. We are interested most especially now in getting these mining plants. I still have my rockets. Generally, as a multi-roll, I'm hanging on to those rockets until I need them. I'm going to do the damage that I can air to air first and then worry about it. Uh, let's get somebody on him possible bots. Ahead of me is a battle going on. We're going to keep rolling. We're going to ask for help. We're going to dive. We're going to use boost. Nope, not going to matter. Uh, had too many uh, locked onto us. This is one of the reasons why I do not generally go middle, if at all possible. It's a dangerous place for multi-rolls. Your multi-rolls cannot turn as well as turn fighters. They are not as fast. Um, we're really turning either one as, as light fighters, and so that's a problem. And you can see our light fighter went down there. We got an issue, right? We had a real issue here in that um, we are not taking the middle, and we should be dominating the middle. So we'll see how that goes. Fortunately, right now, it's not costing us because these mining plants have not been rolled over. Uh, I'm going to see if I can snake some points from these guys. In fact, we're going to get some help over here if we can. Unfortunately, pushing the boost before, I'm, I'm now wishing I had it right now. Uh, generally, so that's a poor decision on my part. Generally, the boost is best used for traveling between zones. Some of the best things you can do with it is speeding up your capture time. All right, I'm not sure if the heavy sees me coming in or not. So I'm boosting, he does, it's not gonna matter. Um, he's on the deck and so any advantage he might have is long since gone and I have great guns. It's one of the reasons why I selected this plane. Good firepower and good energy characteristics. So he's not going to survive this. missed with that one. All right, let's see if we can get this. Oh, I only have four. Okay, we're going to have to push on. This is not uh, going to be helpful. Can't do anything. We can go after this guy. We've almost got our boost back. And in fact, that may be our best bet. Who is with me? Oh, Leo is. Airfield, buddy. Airfield. If you are in a turn fighter like the Spitfire, a powerful tier six, right? Top tier in this game, you know, you want to be working that middle probably. You have every advantage being there, and that's the best thing you can do for your team. We're going to try and burn this guy down. Good. 40 points, and it's ours. Where's the bomber at? There he is. This is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and we're going to take this zone. Fortunately, it looks like our enemies are staying in that middle zone. So maybe the Spitfire is, you know, making some good decisions here in terms of just saying, hey, we're going to handle this and uh, letting somebody else do the middle there, which is great. So they do have the other mining plants. Uh, we do not. Doesn't look like there's any, I don't know if there's any enemies over it or not. Okay, so there's the heavy fighter. Um... Yeah, I see him. So what I'm gonna do is dive out of his way. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Will not be okay, because as long as he's turning like this, he's not gonna get his turret on me, right? The bow fighter has a much more powerful turret than the 410. It's not gonna matter, especially with Leo here with me. Um, we're going to take him down. I don't see enemy, any enemies over our the, their mining plant, so I don't have any opportunity really outside of these four small rockets of flipping that script. So we're going to stay here and defend this very important zone instead. And we got great guns for dealing with these ground attackers. 
Uh, they put out so much DPS. It's a lovely thing. All right, and it looks like one of those ground attackers is going to be gone, right? Uh, and both the enemies have left at this point. I don't think they died. I think they just left, which is unfortunate. Um, so the Messerschmitt 410 is over here in the middle. We're going to try and get him out next. And it looks like all of our bots are working over here, which is great. Uh, the bots, bombers, and ground attack aircraft are really the ones who do a great job of capturing zones, right? Um, so that's excellent. They're headed that direction. And we've got the enemy down to six bots and the last player. Victory is in sight. Keep it up. Now there's one bot over there. I'm less worried about him. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to use that boost again just to get my... Uh, my speed rolling. I'm going to be diving as well, also pick up speed and get myself into my optimal altitude. I don't necessarily want to be up high to deal with a 410. I want him down low with me. That's where I would be uh, best served dealing with him. Looks like he got knocked out here as well. And so I'm going to handle this ground attacker. It's probably not going to matter with us getting control. That's going to be that. all. So hopefully that was helpful in terms of looking at, you know, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? What can I do? What are my other teammates going to be doing? And as you see, not everything went to plan there, right? Not everything went the way I thought it was going to go. But if I have that set in my mind at first, you know, have an understanding of where I think the other people might go um, and what they might be good at, then this is a good opportunity for me to fill in the blanks, especially as a multi-role, right? To be able to go, because I have that flexibility to go wherever I can to be helpful for the team. And that um, you know, can be really helpful, right? In, in, in terms of your win percentage, especially. And again, as always, I'll just show you, this game is primarily about capturing zones. It's not about destroying aerial targets. How do I know that? Nine times out of 10, when I look at this team score and look at the players, Whoever has the most sectors captured among the players, nine times out of 10, that's the winner of the battle, right? So I've captured three, we know that. Leo captured three, that's six. And MM captured zero. So we've got six from our team. Let's see how the enemy did. Ricardo got two. Uh, Mr. Strife got one. Or Mrs. Strife, who knows? Could be either one. So one, two, three, four. So four there, and we got six. So it's not surprising that we won. We captured more zones in that match, right? Um, you know, the number of planes we shot down doesn't necessarily matter a whole lot at the end of the day, right? Um, what really matters is the number of those zones that were captured. And uh, that's really what, what flips the script is, is doing that. So let's get into it one more time. Again, decision-making. We're going to be thinking about these things. You know, I went to the command center because I've got air and ground ordnance. I can finish that off. It's sort of a hybrid zone. There's a few aircraft, but you also need to do some ground kills, generally speaking. I couldn't do the mining plant unless there's enemy aircraft there because there are no aircraft that spawn there, no air defense aircraft. And I wasn't good enough for the airfield, so I knew exactly where to go and how that would unfold. So let's do it again. Let's see again what we get map-wise, team-wise, and then how we're going to flow out the battle, how we're going to plan the battle from there. Um, to try and get ourselves a victory. So here we go, battle number two. Okay, so second battle, two command centers, two air bases. Um, again, these will have you know a lot of aircraft. The others will be hybrids, and we've got a much you know more full match this time, five on five. I've got multi-role. I've got another P40. This one, the fighter one. So a couple of fighters, a multi-role that's really a fighter, and a ground pounder on their side. Leo is now on their side, switched to a specialized 410, specialized bow fighter, XFL, and of course the Venom that's here. So what am I gonna do? Actually, I'm best served not staying over here, even though it's the closer zone. I'm best served going this way. Um, they can handle this. Look, they're already pushing that direction. How many of our players are pushing this direction? None actually, right? Um, so it's better if I go help over here, cap this as quickly as possible. And then we'll see maybe if we can take that one there or we might float across the middle depending on how bad things look and see if we can snag that uh, command center. But for now, this is probably the best thing I can do to help my team 
is good over here. Alright, we got three of these bots here. There's lights to deal with. It's going to give us 120 capture points. And that's 40 right there. We need 50 more to roll the zone based on what everybody else has already done. There we go. And this one now as well. We don't mind going head on with them because of the firepower in these. Turns out we don't need to deal with them. We got it. I'm going to do this to have the bots kind of head that direction. Given that they haven't captured it yet, uh, I think I'm going to head that way. If they were closer to capping this, I might sprint across to there. But they obviously invested most of their resources in capturing that, right? We're between zones. I'm going to kick that boost. I'm going to get some altitude. And we're going to start working this direction. We may not make it there. Yeah, so this is actually going to be interesting because we're working our way towards it. They captured all three of these. We're now behind the eight ball, right? So what we need to do is deal with this wave of bots here, especially the bow fighter, right? Oh, I see two specialized. So we're going to try and do the best we can to deal with the enemy that's here. I don't want this, this hurricane on my tail. It's a hurricane two. He's got lovely cannons, but I see the this guy is distracted. Uh, help me. Help me, bots. Help me. Yep, I was afraid of that. Unfortunately, we're going to probably die to this um, because this bot has locked onto me. Enemy multi-role multi -role bots are notorious for doing that, for just, you know, biting your leg and staying attached no matter what you do. But unfortunately, with that many human players in the zone, you know, it's kind of an ogre's choice. Um, either I could deal with a bot, die to the player, or other way around. So now I have a choice. I can spawn here and head this way or spawn here. I think this is the best bet. I really want to take that command center. And you can see there's only one enemy bot there and one of my bots. Great. Let's go hammer it, right? Let's go get it and stop those guys from coming in. I also see enemy players, so we're going to deal with that. We're going to dive on it. He does not have the speed to catch me, especially since I'm already going to dive. We're just going to run away from his machine guns. I, I saw his scores in the last match. I feel pretty confident that we can get here and flip this zone and then head back to defend if we need to. They do have bombers coming in anyway, so I'll probably just need to head right back there to begin with. All right, so there's a 109F up here. That's going to be difficult, right? Uh, this is going to be an uphill battle for me. Um, I'm going to need to get some altitude, and we're going to need to use every trick in our bag. We actually want him to see us. So we're going to do that. We're going to flip wing on. Looks like we got him a little bit, and we're going to go vertical. Use that rudder. Try and win this first loop. And there we go. We managed to do that. So, non paper, I lose that battle every time. But if you can get your advantages in order, right? Um, use the superior firepower, use those rockets, um, try and use the vertical, get your get your rudders to make a tighter turn than normal, and we can win that. So 60 ground points and we're out of here. We want to do this very quickly. So the goal is to find what we can hit and what we can finish off uh, that might flip the zone from what the bombers overhead are doing. Oh, I don't have my rockets, that's right, I already used those. Uh, okay, here is an ADA. We are going to get him, hopefully, before we die with our 80 hit points left. And that could make the difference then in flipping this zone, and then we'll go back and defend the airbase next. Good. All right, so their airbase has just been flipped. Our booster is back online. Our rockets are back online. We're headed that way. But enemy has come in, but now he's stuck. He's going to deal with the plot bots that are there. He's going to be uh, trying to flip this zone that's right next to where he's at. And we really want this one right here. This is a disadvantage to not have the airfields, but you know what? Having the command centers is probably better at this point anyway. Okay, they have left. He's left the airfield looking to do something else. Um, we're going to get here and deal with the planes first. Again, if at all possible, we want to use our air to air and then finish up against uh, that was an unfortunate hit. All right. Let's see if we can stay alive for this and end up stalling out here. If anyone spawns here at this point, I am toast, right? I'm going to be toast anyway. There's just too much here for me to deal with. Uh, we haven't got, gotten any capture points yet, 
So the best thing I can do, honestly, is probably just die. Um, yep. Uh, if I had killed the bot, there would have been one less ADA there, right? And I, then I would have died. So the 40 capture points I got would have been wiped out by the 40 capture points they got by killing me in defense. So it really doesn't help at all, right? Now I get a fresh plane. I've already got these guys coming in anyway. So I probably want to hit the command center over here next, right? We're up by 70 points. Um, taking the airfield is going to be hard. I already have some bots doing that. Let's let's play to our advantages. Let's play to our strengths. Let's play to what we got, right? Oh, and Leo is up actually up here. He's gone too close to our zone at this point, and he's attacking bots, and he's going to pay for it, right? He's not paying attention, and he should have been. He's going to go down. It's not going to be a squall line, sadly, but that's okay. Uh, gets him out, preserves our bots, and we have a wave of fighters coming in. We're going to deal with that airfield. All right. We are in danger of losing badly right here. Um, this is one of those places where you're like, what are my teammates doing? I don't know. <laughs> what are my teammates doing? But unless we flip a zone and fast, we're going to be SOL. We are five capture points from getting supremacy. Right? So we got to flip this zone ASAP super fast. And that's exactly what we're going to try to do right here. All right, we're going to push on. We need to get planes down fast, and this is not a maneuver bird. All right, there's one. Now, unfortunately, there is the supremacy, which we will have a hard time coming back from. So, unfortunately, that is probably the game at this point. I'm going to push out of this. If I can get this guy, then that will be this zone. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what's happening here. Yep, we finally captured the zone. Good. Our only possibility of winning at this point is, is to take all of these and see if that one gets flipped. I did. Good. We gotta win, right? We gotta we gotta keep things rolling. We're behind by so much now because of superiority. Um, it is a problem. So we need people to capture that zone. I'm in trouble because I gotta go through the middle, and I'm not a plane that does well at that. I see enemies, I see the hurricane there, right? Um, we're gonna have to move quick on this and I've gotta capture this while we're here as well, if at all possible. So we are going to operate as quickly as possible again, capture things. Um, we need 60 points, that's two aircraft. Looks like G-Man is going to get that one, hopefully. And I'm gonna get this one and there we go. That's the zone, lovely stuff. And we need to get this guy. I don't think we're going to get there in time. Unfortunately, there's just too much here. Yeah, we got about 15 seconds before the game is over. So sadly, we are not going to make it, despite all the, the work we put in. Um, unfortunately, we just found ourselves outmatched a little too often. And that's going to be the game. We'll see if we can get in some final damage, personal points here, uh, before everything rolls over. But they just capped a few more zones than we did. And we'll look at that after the match. But I guarantee you that is the cause of our loss right there. That's it. Ta -da. And off we go. So we'll take a look at the post game. But again, hopefully that's good for decision making for flow. That doesn't mean to say that I made great decisions there, right? There were some issues that I had. Maybe some different places I should have gone, different approaches. Um, you know, I'd have to go back and look again. But um, you know, going back and taking the airbase, maybe I should have gone to center and helped out there instead, right? There's some process and flow in these things uh, that I don't always get correctly, and nobody does. But I just wanted you inside the head a little bit, thinking about okay, how can I win? Where do I go next? What's most important to deal with, right? Okay, so we did decently. We captured three sectors. Good. We died too many times. This is always a problem, right? Um, unfortunately, every time you die, you lose time in the match. You can be effective. So let's look. Three zones. Three zones. That's six. None. And four. So we did ten. Ten zones between us. Although I would be willing to bet that our flight here flew together. Yeah, I think so. So um, again, pro tip, do not do what this flight did. That, that is a great way to cost yourself games and matches um, because it looks like they overlapped on three of these. So the reality is it was three, four, 
zero, seven, seven distinct zones that we captured. That's probably not enough in a five player match. Observe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we know these guys split up because we never saw them together. And that's not everybody, although he didn't get any. So they did nine to our, what, what did I say, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and he did one extra, so seven. Nine to seven, that's why we lost the match, right? Um, and that's one of the reasons why if you're in a flight, you have to split up because if the enemy splits up, they're gonna be capping more often than you. You're gonna be behind the eight ball. You're gonna lose on superiority, right? Again, this is not a game of how many planes can I shoot down? Doesn't matter. What matters is how many zones can I capture, especially if you're in a multi-role, you're pretty effective at that. That's what you should be working on, right? Well, I guess we got eight, eight to their nine because we had Limer down there got a zone as well. So uh, hopefully that's helpful in terms of the decision-making process, you know, and especially for multi-roles to kind of help you think about that. You're, you're not there to take on other light fighters, especially heavy fighters or, or decent prey for you, ground attack or easy prey for you, you know. Um, so those are probably where you want to concentrate your efforts. And if you get caught one-on-one -on -one with a light fighter, use every advantage you, you can, right? Um, but and hope that they're making a mistake. Um, in my case, the 109, you know, I was able to win that 1v1. But as you can see, winning 1v1s doesn't win you the battle, right? All right, so hopefully that's helpful. Please ask questions in the comments below. Like and subscribe if this has been useful for you. Share it around if need be. Um, but we'll do more on this with the different classes of aircraft and different periods of aircraft as well to make sure that we've got uh, a good round of, of insight into different decision making and and i love to see other uh content creators jump in on this too if you're someone who does this let's see your decision making let's see your flow let's see your process your frame of mind when you're playing these battles i would love to hear that stuff out loud it's a great help i think to newer players and help bridge that gap uh, between people who are just now coming into the game and people who've been here for you know 10 years at this point so there you go hopefully again it's helpful um, have a wonderful week playing the game i hope i get to see you online and uh, until then uh, good luck and good hunting